Hey everyone, I'm Upasna and welcome back to my YouTube channel where you get all the hiring updates, interview experiences, hackathon guidance and much more. Recently, I have recorded a video with Uday. He has shared crucial info you require for SAP Scholar program. So watch that podcast to clear all your doubts. Today's video is about an amazing hiring opportunity for fourth year students, basically 25 pass outs. So don't wait for the last moment to apply on their portal. Make your resume now and apply as soon as possible. So Microsoft is hiring for 2025 pass outs for various roles like research science intern and software engineer. They'll offer you the CTC of 45 lakh or more. So watch this video till the end to know everything about how to apply, what is the selection process of Microsoft, how to make your resume stand out, interview experience at Microsoft and what benefits you'll get as an intern or a software engineer. So let's get started. They are hiring software engineers and research science interns. The research internship is of 6 months where you will get the stipend of 1.25 lakh per month. Since it's an off-campus opportunity, they can freeze this job posting as soon as they receive ample amount of applications so apply as soon as possible. Talking about Microsoft specifically, they welcome thousands of students from various universities every year to join Microsoft and as a software engineer, you will work on problems, understand the requirements, design them and identify the solutions, mitigations to simple issues impacting the performance. So don't worry about these technical terms. Full-time opportunity is not restricted to any location, but the internship is for Bangalore only. And don't worry about food, transportation or insurance. Microsoft will reimburse about all your expenses, okay? So apply, prepare well and get selected in this big tech MNC. So now, so now coming to how to apply, link for both the opportunities is in the description. So make sure you check the description thoroughly because I have attached various important links like the resume review form, placement resource PDF in the description only. So check the description, okay? So this is the software engineering full-time opportunity. As you can see, here's the apply button. You need to click on this and then they'll open a registration portal. You need to fill your name, email and everything and then resume and then you need to move forward. So everyone will not get the online assessment link. Only the shortlisted students will receive the online assessment link. Keep this in mind, okay? Knowing more about this role, as you can read from here overview, like they welcome thousands of university students from every corner of the world to join the Microsoft. And here is the responsibility section, like what you will be doing. You will understand the requirements, design, how the team contributes in the design. Then the coding part, how the Microsoft team code, like various languages, they apply diagnosability, reliability, maintainability. You just read about these, okay? And here are the perks and benefits you can read like uh, you'll have the healthcare insurance, educational resources, like giving programs and leaves, discounts on the product and services. This is the full time opportunity. You will have the CTC of 45 lakh or more in this. Okay, And here you can see it is like on site only and it is for multiple locations like it is not restricted to Bangalore or Hyderabad you can have and like anywhere Bangalore Hyderabad Noida anywhere you can expect okay and the qualifications you can read from here like the bachelor's degree in computer science and some computer science fundamentals knowledge like C plus like OOPS DBMS operating system SQL and everything okay and to know more about the interview experiences, you can refer Geeks for Geeks. Like in the GFG practice, you can search Microsoft and then they'll give you a list of questions which were asked in the Microsoft interviews in previous year. So this is the software engineering full-time opportunity and talking about the research intern. This is a research internship and it will be in Bangalore only. Like it is for Bangalore, Karnataka only and uh, it will be of six months. Remember this. And here is the qualification section, like you need to have the bachelor's degree. It's only for 2025 pass outs basically, okay? And here you can read like uh, what they expect from you in the research internship. So read these thoroughly, okay? And here is the responsibility section, what you will be doing in the company, how you will be expecting to work. And like alongside fellow interns and some of the world's best researchers, you will learn, collaborate and network for the life. You will analyze and improve the performance of advanced algos, implement prototypes of scalable systems in AI. And here are the benefit sections, so you can read, okay? 
and here is the apply button so just click on it and you will have the dashboard open where you need to fill your name email mobile number and you need to put your resume in that okay upload the resume from your computer so coming back to the video as i already mentioned everyone will not get the online assessment link they'll do the shortlisting first and then the students who register on their career portal will get the link okay so talking about the resume wala part first of all many students do not have significant industrial experience so the focus of the hr or the person who is shortlisting your resumes will be on the projects you have mentioned okay and what skills you possess so be very clear in listing your projects well make your resume ats friendly by adding some action verbs like data structures and algorithms problem solving critical problem solving and these like and next include links to the project certificates if you have done any internship or you have any achievements then add the certificates or the links to that also and if you have deployed links or the github repositories make sure to add them to best represent your work the skill section is very important be certain what you write as the interviewer if he ask you about those skills your interview can start with those skills only okay so don't just fill up the resume be sure of your knowledge and because you will be questioned about it okay and if you feel your skill section is incomplete take some time to work on your relevant skills learn the computer science fundamentals like oops dbms computer networks sql and then fill the skill section okay additionally i always sought some resume feedback from the seniors or the friends who have gone through the process as they understand what will make you stand out so their input on the resume your order of the resume what section should come up what section should go the least it can be invaluable okay formatting is also the key so make sure your resume looks professional no grammatical or spelling error and ensure that all your links work at the top of the resume include your github id linkedin profile and coding profiles to make it look presentable for example in my profile section i added my email phone number my youtube channel link linkedin github and the lead code profile so that it can show the recruiter that i have solved this much of questions and this is my consistency okay overall ensure proper formatting no spelling errors working links such that each project include a link for the reviewer to see your work and at the timeline of the projects like the latest made project should be on the top and the project you made last year should be on the least okay and if you want to check what is the ats score of your resume then you can check the score on the resume worded website and you can get your resume reviewed by the seniors who are placed in amazon microsoft cisco google by filling the form given in the description and we will review it and you can check that okay my resume also got shortlisted for google swe role in bangalore recruiter reached out to me for the interviews via the email so if you want to see my resume how i have made it let me know in the comments i'll make surely make a video on my resume template coming to online assessment in this you will have coding test on hacker rank platform or the cordility platform where you need to solve 2 to 3 dsc questions and you can refer geeks for geeks for checking the microsoft dsc questions also in the interviews you may be asked some puzzles so for the puzzles also i'll suggest you to check gfg top 100 or top 20 puzzles because they'll be very beneficial for your interviews okay in the oa you can expect the questions like two pointers dfs plus dp or some string questions based on encoding or decoding or finding the length of longest subsequence on the given sequence these questions only so check gfg for sure after clearing the oa you will get the interview opportunity and depending upon your role like software engineer or the internship you can expect two to three to four rounds also okay because in the full time they'll give more dsc questions they'll judge you more thoroughly okay so expect two or four rounds of interviews for the software engineering position in the interviews your interview start with your introduction like the interviewer starts his introduction and then ask you to introduce yourself so in the introduction focus on what you want to convey him which is not in your resume like i told him about my one of the best projects which have live users 10000 plus users i told him about my hobbies which i do regularly so it gives like yes you are regular in the text text okay and then after the introduction interviewer may ask you about your skills mentioned in the resume your projects what you told in the introduction your interview can start with that also so for the interview experience you can watch this video where my friend nitika and nitya have shared their interview experience 
with Microsoft. They did their summer internship this year only. So you can thoroughly watch this video to clear all your doubts about the Microsoft interview experience. For the HR related questions, I'll give you a link in the description. You can check that questions. In the HR questions, you can expect like why Microsoft, if you were a team lead, how you handled that situation, all these type behavioral type of questions. Okay, so in your interviews, prepare your introduction beforehand. Make sure no fake thing is written in your resume. Highlight your best projects in the introduction. Prepare the CS fundamentals as well. For CS fundamentals and aptitude, I have prepared a document thoroughly where you can like go for aptitude, groups, DBMS, SQL. Every CS fundamental is there in the document. Check that in the description. And if you want to get your resume reviewed, you can fill the form also. So apply as soon as possible because the job posting can be freezed at any time and all the best.